Hello and welcome to Pitchers Up. My name is Laurinas. I am Specialty Coffee Association Lithuania uh, Events Coordinator. Together with our team chapter, uh, during pandemic, we missed coffee events, we missed gatherings, we missed festivals. And three or four months ago, we came up with an idea, maybe let's do online latte art throwdown. We called it Have Fun Online. We gathered baristas mostly from Lithuania. We and baristas had a lot of fun. And then we decided, let's make it bigger and let's invite baristas from Lithuania, Latvia, and Estonia. Pictures Up is the first online Baltic uh, latte art throwdown and the biggest latte art throwdown ever in Baltics. 53 competitors today will compete in try to get through qualification round to semi-final. This week we have qualification today. Next Saturday we will have a semi-final with top 16 competitors. And uh, on March 20th, 11 a.m., just as today, we will see eight top baristas competing for Pitchers Up chap champion title. All of our competitors will receive prizes and gifts from our partners. And the main prize from King Coffee Service, Varia multi-brewer uh, multi coffee maker. This maker can make you any kind of cup the way you like it. Is it Aeropress, V60, Filter Coffee? Uh, it's amazing and truly great prize to compete for. And we have 53 competitors today. To select best of the best, all competitors are evaluated by judges and they will be evaluated to, today by you, our audience. Uh, you and the judges have the same power. It means that the judges will rank the barista performance uh, in, uh, in simple manner. First, second, third, fourth place. And the same way with the vote in the end of the show, you will evaluate your favorite baristas. We will put these votes together from judges and you, and we will have top 16, actually top 15 today, uh, selected for qualification round. For those who are not familiar with pictures of format, baristas have already sent us their latte art videos and pictures. We have prepared them for the show and you will see them very, very soon. So you can choose your favorite barista, either it's your friend or favorite barista in town that you go to grab a coffee every day. Uh, topic for today's challenge for baristas was flowers. So we're going to see Roses, tulips, uh, rosettas, and very creative, different, unseen flower types that uh, it's pretty difficult to imagine how it can fit into one cup. Today, our judges, uh, three of them, very experienced baristas, judges, competitors, and from three different Baltic states. And I, will, I would like to ask now to us to join Eva Meilunaite, uh, Lithuanian latter champion twice, uh, semi finalist in world uh, latter championship, and uh, second online latter throwdown judge. Hello, Yava. Hello, Laurinas. Hello, everyone, competitors and judges. Uh, thank you for this really great event. Uh, I think that it's going really well because we have way more competitors than the other uh, throwdown that I was judging. So thank you, Sky Lithuania, for these events uh, in these sad and lonely days. <laughs> so thank you. And uh, I want to say that uh, this is like throw down for fun so let's have some fun enjoy the day and uh, good luck for everyone thank you Eva, for uh, kind words and nice words uh, but uh, just so we introduce the audience and uh, maybe baristas if they would like to know how they are evaluated by the judges and with you i would like to touch uh, the point that the barista pattern the drawing that they do uh, is evaluated about creativity and you evaluated from one to six points. 
So what makes a uh, very creative uh, latte art? Uh, very creative latte art is like, if we talk about extraordinary pattern, it should be like, I have never seen this before. <laughs> it, it should be from a lot of mixed details and it should be uh, exciting. And when I get the cup, it would be like, Wow, <laughs> that's not the flower I could uh, thought about in a, in a cup, in a coffee. So uh, that would be extremely good. <laughs> extremely creative. Okay, yeah. so we touched what is creativity. We know one of our judges, Yava uh, Meilunaite. Uh, thank you for joining. Thank you for doing hard work and evaluating baristas. And uh, enjoy the show now. Thank you. And now I would like to ask our second judge to join us, uh, Dagna Vaskopa from Rocket Bean. And uh, she competed in London Coffee Masters. Uh, she has done some uh, judging. Uh, she was shadow judge in uh, Lithuanian barista competitions a few years ago. And I think it was first this type of competition uh, you judge. Hello, Dagna. Hello. Yes, uh, you felt everything right. And uh, I want to uh, say thank you for you and for your initiative to uh, stick all the Baltic states together in this uh, fun uh, and uh, yeah, fun and enjoyable uh, latte art showdown. So I hope everyone uh, else will enjoy it uh, too. So thank you for this uh, opportunity. Thank you, Dagna. Uh, I would like to ask you about the last part what judges evaluated uh we have actually four sections so we have symmetry contrast creativity that you have already described and then overall appeal uh and we double those points it's from one to six but it's double points so it's very important how would you describe what is appealing uh, latter yeah uh it's uh, quite a subjective uh kindish uh, evaluating part <laughs> so uh, the judge will uh, vote it uh, by self-impression uh, how what you are uh, exper have experienced before and uh, how it compares with your experience and how clean the cup is how tasty it looks and uh, yeah basically you want to drink it or you want to just leave it <laughs> <laughs> well, that's two, two, two sides of how it can go. Uh, and uh, yeah, so this is the part where judges could actually put their, not professional, but a bit more personal opinion. Do they like it? Does it really feel attractive to them? Uh, we had the judges calibration yesterday. It was probably not the first experience what you've seen, but why is it important? Uh... Calibration, it's uh, actually super extremely important because uh, we have some <laughs> uh, some personal uh, things, how we look at the cups, how we feel it looks good or not, but uh, there are some uh, strictly technical technical uh, things. Uh, for example, the uh, how you evaluate the contrast, is it uh, good or bad? And uh, there are some strict uh, uh, rules how what to look at and uh, it's important to be on the same page for all the judges perfect Dagna. perfect description of uh, why calibration matters so it means that judges before evaluating meet and discuss different options how the patterns can go and how to evaluate them thank you Dagna. enjoy the show and now, final judge from Estonia, Vadim Kolometz, very experienced judge, uh, SCA Lithuania friend for many, many years. Hello, Vadim. We cannot hear you. Yeah. One moment. So Vadim uh, is Hello. from Estonia. He Hello. Lives... Oh, he's here. Vadim, <laughs> please uh, introduce yourself then. <laughs> Well, as you said, I'm Vadim, I'm from Estonia and I've been in coffee world for like over a decade and still still having the fun with that. I'm really pleased that you have me here and uh, I really hope to... <laughs> this is my daughter, always wants to see what's going on. 
so I, I, I'm really pleased and I, I really thankful to you that you have organized this and uh, in those hard times we have, it's at least virtually, it's really nice to meet everyone, at least on the screen and have fun and have those uh, events. And I really hope to see a lot of good patterns and a lot of good baristas and uh, let the best win. Thank you, Vadim. To choose the best, uh, you have to evaluate how symmetrical and how, how good is the contrast of the picture. Could you describe it to audience what actually it means and what to look for when they see those patterns? Um, if we speak about the symmetry, so we would like to expect that, uh, let's say, all the slot yard thing is oriented for the customer. So that means when the cup is served to the customer and uh, if you have really nice pattern, but if the customer takes the cup and he, to get the idea of the pattern, he needs to flip the cup or like turn himself or herself around to just to get the idea what's going on. So it's not the thing we are expecting. So we want the, the picture or the pattern of the cup being served strictly uh, against the customer so it could be readable and if we speak about the patterns like rosetta for instance or heart or any other they should be symmetrical on the both ways so that's the idea we're looking at uh, regarding the contrast i usually say this uh, i compare this like if you cut the coffee and the milk place with a really sharp knife so you can clearly see the lines and the patterns so that makes a uh, really visual effect that shows how skills, what kind of skills the barista has. And uh, looking at the pattern and looking at the contrast, you can uh, easily say even about the taste, about the profile and the skills and the experience. So, and that's what we are looking for. We're looking for the best barista to show us and to serve the best cup. So unfortunately today it's on the screen only, but I really hope that all the cups were made were not wasted <laughs> and at least someone had fun with that. Absolutely. So Vadim, uh, just summarize how we evaluate uh, contrast and symmetry. And if I would have to put it in one sentence is, is it easy to take a picture where you can see that it's like properly done latte art? Especially Shake. these days, it's really important. <laughs> Say again, because I had the small uh, connection problems. Uh, I'm just saying that uh, latte art should be done uh, Instagram friendly and Facebook friendly. Absolutely, absolutely, because th that's the picture, and we are talking about the art. <laughs> so, yes, it's latte, but it's still uh, still art. Perfect, Vadim. Thank you very much. Thank you. Enjoy the show. So now we know how the baristas will be evaluated. Let's quickly jump who we are really thankful for this event. Uh, we are glad to say that our community is supported by great brands. Uh, Pitchers Up is powered by Lamarzoco together with King Coffee Service. Uh, our sponsors, Caffeine, uh, Omniva, Kofmos Coffee Roasters, Paulik, Tallinn Coffee Festival, and also our friends who support with technical solution Wide Wings. Uh, not only they support us for this event, but they will have prizes and games for you. So be active, comment, ask questions, uh, and follow the show. And that's enough of the talk. So let's start this competition. To keep mo things more fun and exciting, you will see two baristas at once pouring their patterns and then the pictures of their uh, designs. Uh, they're not competing against each other. They're competing in general classification, which means that you and the judges will decide top 15 who go straight to semifinal for next Saturday. And the 16th competitor will be brought back with uh, Lamarzoko comeback competition uh, that we will talk about later. And now I am glad to start pictures up, uh, powered by Lamarzoko and our first competitor. Jivile Vaitekunaite from Backstage Cafe. For her, Backstage feels like second home uh, and the team is like family. And number two, uh, Vilus Astrauskis from Cafe in Lithuania, 
roaster in Caffeine Roasters, Great Cup Taster, and ended up fourth place in Have Fun Online. Let's see how they did. That's what we can expect today. Roses, big bouquets of flowers, and Jivila and Vilus did really great. Second pair of competitors. Number three, Virginia Vitsupa from Costa Coffee, Latvia. She feels uh, proud and her goal about coffee is to learn as much as possible and serve 100% perfection for every customer. Number four, Rugila Zarambaite from Vero Cafe, Lithuania. Her favorite pattern is tulip, uh, but coffee flavors are the things that excites her the most about coffee. That was uh, Virginia and Rugila, and uh, now I would like to present one of our partners, Omniva. People who know me uh, know that I really love funny socks, and uh, Omniva decided to share this fun with me and also the audience. So what we're gonna have is a little competition. Uh, for these socks that I have here that are canned, well, it didn't open, it says that it should smell really nice. Uh, we're gonna check it. But what's gonna happen, at some point, you're gonna see in the background these boxes, these cans. And let us know in the comments uh, in Facebook live stream, and you will have a chance to win them. So we have few pairs to share. So be active, and later on you will see it. Continuing, third pair of competitors, number five, Sharuna Pascochimaite from King Coffee Service, Lithuania. Uh, she is seasoned uh, competitor, but not in lettered. Uh, she was competing in cup tasters, barista competitions, and uh, that is her cup of tea, let's say. But not so much of lettered, but I think she did great. Uh, and number six, uh, from Estonia, Trinu Lee Stamjarv, uh, representing Kathain. And she told that uh, he has uh, competition every day with her colleagues for light art. I think she's well trained for this uh, chance to compete today. Beautiful flowers from the ladies. And now we will have two guys joining us. Number seven, Rinald's Embras from Andrito Coffee Roasters. Uh, Rinald's favorite light art is also tulip. Uh, and uh, so I believe topic flowers is re really fits him. And number eight, Thomas Bayarunas from Mission Coffee Works in London. It's first competition for Thomas. So uh, Thomas, good luck and enjoy it. Thank you, Reynolds and Thomas, for your patterns. Pictures up uh, coffee partner, Caffeine, is ready to surprise you with some freshly roasted specialty beans. They have uh, a 
question for you. What is your favorite cafe in cafe in any town you live or you, you like to visit? We would like you to comment in Facebook uh, and uh, share your favorite place where you grab your cup of coffee at Caffeine. And uh, two lucky winners will get uh, freshly roasted beans from Caffeine. And now, competitor number nine, Andre Leon Raeste from Caffeine, Estonia. Uh, he participated in uh, Caffeine Throwdown Estonian one. Uh, he got fourth the first time. And the second time, he was the second one. Means that he has a good potential for winning maybe today as well. And number 10, Andris Romanovskis from Rocket Bean Cafe. And uh, also another first time competitor. And I'm really glad that baristas with this format are joining and trying their best. Thank you, Andre and Andris. Uh, competitor number 11, Gabia Shashkute from Caffeine Lithuania. And number 12, uh, competitor Eva Blajite from Blue, Brew Specialty Coffee. Gabia says that uh, she has the best colleagues in town. Well, Eva says that, uh, well, she has a beautiful story. She used to go to a cafe that she works now, uh, sit there for hours, and finally, she started her barista career. For those who just joined us, uh, we have pictures up uh, Latte Art Throwdown, so co pouring milk on coffee competition. We have 53 competitors. Today is qualification round, and we will decide with you and the judges who will proceed to the semi final for next week. Now, I would like to invite uh, uh, one of our judges that we already saw, Vadim Kolomets, to join. Hello again. So, Vadim. Uh, we saw already 12 uh, patterns, uh, what, what, how do you see it, how technical it was? Was it difficult to execute? Well, for me as a judge lately and not practicing barista, yes. <laughs> <laughs> but for, for those guys I see it's uh, like a piece of cake and it's really, really nice to see and see the development and see the experience they have behind them so i really expect like high scores in this competition today at the end of the day and i'm really quite surprised um, i have like a big intrigue who will be the best and who will be the the most experienced or let's say all the participants will be the winners but uh, it always like at that day, at that moment, one is just just a little bit better. Maybe he was like faster, maybe just not so nervous and so on. But uh, it's really great to have so many people attending this event. And I am really, really, really happy to see that even on those uh, lockdown times, people are uh, keeping the heads up and pictures down and working on that. So that's, <laughs> that's really, really good. Uh, that's a great comment. But Vadim, you used to compete sometime before judging, right? So that was... Yes. Uh, what would you say? Why is it worth competing in general? Uh, it's, uh, it's somehow like more psychological or psych psychology behind it. And it makes you check yourself how you act in this kind of stress situations. Because uh, one thing is like, I would do so, I, I would do that. But when you get on the stage, you have absolutely different lifestyle and attending. So you know for yourself. And <clears throat> it's really nice to have it. It's really nice to see what is the room for development and to throw yourself uh, kind of 
Oh Jesus, my English is like some kind yeah, of Yeah, you just have uh, to throw yourself into the wall and try it. Try the yes, best. right, absolutely. And uh, everyone do mista- does mistakes, and uh, the only people who doesn't do anything and the mistakes as well, those who doesn't do anything. So that's totally true. Uh, that's a good school. It's really better to have it behind your back as experience because it shows you and you prove yourself and you show others and it's it's really great experience and yeah. one but one comment i need to add it's it's really addictive so one time you step <laughs> in you're done you keep going 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 is it, it is it the same <laughs> as judging for you yes absolutely it's uh I I was kind of like really upset regarding all those COVID issues, and then you came up with this online idea, so which is really great, and I'm really happy to to be part of it. And I really hope that it uh, doesn't matter what times are in front of us, we still have the option to to do those things. Great, Vadim. One last question. Uh, one of the ideas behind Pictures Up and what together with SEA Lithuania team we want to do is uh, to bring attention to our community events, uh, to our community in general, uh, to all the roasters, cafeterias, baristas, so we all get to know each other and meet. Uh, And one of those chances is going to be Tallinn Coffee Festival in September this year. Uh, And you're a local uh, Estonian and you probably visited Tallinn Coffee Festival. What's special about it or why why would you go the next time? Well, first of uh, one of the first reasons I will attend it, it will be because I really miss coffee people together. And that will be the day and place to, to meet everyone and see what's going on and see how things are and uh, help each other. And it's really nice emotionally. It's really nice professionally. So I would strongly recommend not only coffee professionals to go there and see uh, the festivals, but uh, even those people who like their coffee at home or they go to the cafeterias in the morning if they open. But uh, by the September, I totally confirm, at least for myself, that I will be really missing the, the cafeteria life. So I will go and grab my experience and my emotions with a small percentage for those uh, days we were staying home and drinking coffee at home. Absolutely. Thank you, Vadim. Thank you for judging. Thank you for joining us and enjoy the rest of the performances. Thank you. Just as Vadim mentioned, the Tallinn Coffee Festival, 3rd to 4th of September this year, the only coffee festival at the moment at least planned for Baltics. So definitely book your dates. I am going there. Cannot miss it more basically that's what i want to say and now uh, let's continue with the competition and uh, competitor number 13 justina kalnina from uh, scandiweb she works in a digital company as a barista definitely not a casual place to be a barista but i believe there's many many coffee lovers that she makes coffee every day and uh, mindaugas petrosianas uh, his favorite uh, Latte art pattern is hard, but today he's going to have to pull out something more complicated to represent a flower in a cup. Roses and tulips, that's what we, and rosettas, uh, what we see in the cups. And now, competitor 15, Lilia Suleimanova from Krustum. Uh, she loves her job, and this is her first competition. And number 16, Monica Ignata Vichuta from Vero Cafe. Uh, she describes coffee as a magical beverage. Good luck, girls.
we just saw Lilia and Monica, and now it's time for another Monica, which uh, she has a number 17, Monica Stankevichuta from Cafe in Lithuania. She's dreaming about having her own coffee shop. I hope this dream comes through one day, and we're going to see beautiful light arts there daily. And number 18, Jivile Shari Kaita from Cafe in Lithuania as well. Colleagues competing together, and uh, Jivile is fascinated by history of every cup. Monica and Jivila from Caffeine. Uh, that was first 18 competitors after, out of 53, and now we have a short break. And first of all, I have a big question for you. You know, already know that Pictures Up is sponsored and powered by La Marzocca. The question is, where is La Marzocca from? Let us know in comments in Facebook live stream, and you might get some really nice prizes. Two people will get them, uh, and I would like to share my own personal experience with La Marzocca. I was lucky enough, almost six years ago already, uh, to learn making espresso on La Marzocca machine, and uh, that was the time when I understood that there's something more behind the cup. There's a skill in making coffee, and uh, with time I started preparing for competitions. I use La Marzocca still, and... Uh, I understood that it's not only beautiful technology that we use to make uh, espresso. Uh, and now, why you think, where is La Marzocco from? And let us know in the comments. Let's see a short video about them. I never look at myself in the mirror. Even if many people find me beautiful, I'm not really interested in how I look to others. By this time, I've realized that what really matters is what's all around me. And I'm not talking about places, even though there are many that are dear to me and that perhaps have even left their mark inside of me. No, at the end of the day, Places and countries don't mean all that much to me. I'm most interested in people, the thousands of faces I see every day. It's in their eyes that I see myself reflected at every moment all over the world. And I have to say that what I see, I like more and more. All sorts of people, all sharing a great passion. An entire culture made up of a bit of science and a lot of good judgment. And then there are the people who are by my side, those with whom I've shared for better and for worse, as they say at weddings. Their faces, their solid ideas, and their intelligent hands are always with me. And the more time passes, the more vividly memories become reality and walk by my side every day. So it is the faces of those who made me what I am who are here tonight. And together we look ahead to the things, all good I'm sure, which the future has in store for us. So don't call me a product. You could say I'm the product behind thousands, maybe millions of handshakes and smiles, and perhaps even a few arguments too. But I am not a product. I am La Marzocco. Wow. 
90 years of experience for Lamarzaka. Uh, well, I have to tell you, this sentence, uh, maybe thousands or maybe even millions of handshakes uh, before Lamarzoka came through, uh, it's uh, beautiful, it's shaking, and it also resembles with coffee that we like to enjoy how many hands are in the chain while we get our cup. Uh, let us know in the comments where Lamarzoka is from, and now I would like to ask uh, Yeva Milunita to join us. Hi. <laughs> Hi, Yeva. I have a question for you. We had already 18 competitors, and Quite many of them are first timers. Would you, uh, what would you suggest to them, or do you, how do you feel about it? Uh, I'm really happy that we have uh, uh, new competitors, and uh, I want to say for them that uh, don't be afraid to be creative, uh, because what I'm saying is we quite have an issue with creativity <laughs> this time. So don't be afraid, uh, don't be afraid of mistakes, uh, do a lot of Lata art, it, uh, never mind that you will give a um, messy cup for a customer like, I don't know, 100 times, but after 100 or 200 or 500 times, you will, uh, you will go like with the perfect Lata art and that's the only way to um, uh, to do it just like don't be afraid to do mistakes and uh, I'm really happy that we have more and more competitors and um, and I just want to say that uh, you are good barista <laughs> you are very good baristas all of you and uh, I hope I hope you will uh, compete in the more competitions not only throwdowns uh, but in championships as well. Well, Eva just told a very important thing about latter. It's a really acquired skill. It requires many, many times to do it, to actually do it properly. And if somebody knows it, then Eva knows it very well because getting to semifinal in World Championship, it takes creativity and it takes a lot of hard work. Uh, Eva, once again, thank you for joining us. Thank you. Uh, now, I don't yet see who got the Lamarzoko competition uh, properly, but we're, we're going to do it a tiny bit later, after 19th and 20th competitors. 19th, Agnia Melovskaita. She's a home barista now. She used to be a professional and compete and judge in uh, competitions. Uh, believe it or not, uh, she made this uh, latte art at home and she foamed the milk with French press. So it, may, it just describes how creative baristas can be. And 20th competitor, Emma Renute from Brew Specialty Coffee. And uh, she competed in quite many competitions, also in Have Fun Online. And uh, well, these girls are really fun to get coffee from. So uh, good luck. Good, Agne and Emma uh, did really well and uh, really creative. So uh, we're moving to the next competitors. Agle Machulskita from Vero Cafe. Well, she had a really, actually, tough uh, experience in barista competition, but I think what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. And uh, Agle really did well there to get, get her tail out of the situation and uh, today is much easier competition than barista championships and 22nd competitor Gintaria Trusovaita from Cafe in Lithuania and uh, these both girls competed in barista competitions and they're trying their latter skills again
Ti Hello, excuse me. <laughs> we just are deciding who are Lamarzoko prizes winners, and it is Julia Anna Avota and Kadri Schneider, and they told us uh, correctly. It's from Florence in Italy. Uh, you will get nice King Coffee service bags uh, with Lamarzoko merchandise and all the goodies there. And uh, we have two favorite caffeines. Uh, fans uh, who are commenting uh, and uh, first winner is Christiana Eltermane her favorite cafe is in Riga in Barona 13 and uh, Ginge Gabriele Kijite from uh, she actually is from London but her favorite cafe is in uh, Lukishku uh, how is it called square Lukishku square cafe Congratulations, four lucky girl winners. Congratulations and uh, enjoy the prizes. We will get uh, in touch with you. Uh, we saw Gintare and now we're jumping to 23rd and 24th competitors. Henry Elma from Fika Lebiakov. It used to be my favorite place when I lived in uh, Estonia to grab a cup of coffee from my friend Henry. Good luck, Henry. And 24th competitor, uh, Migle Lukosevic uh, titled competitor in Cup Tasters, Lithuanian Cup Tasters champion and leading caffeine team and gathering this army of competitors for us to see performing. Uh, enjoy. <laughs> You just saw Henry and Migle, and now we're moving to competitor 25, Sofia Baitala from Cafe in Estonia. This is first attempt uh, at Latte Art competition for her. And 26th uh, competitor, Aushrama Skelluneita from Taste Map. And she has a really strong support from her Taste Map team, with a very strong team there for Latte Art. <laughs> For those who just joined, this is Pictures Up, uh, Latte Art Competition. Baristas are drawing on milk. We are showing them, presenting them. And uh, when we see all 53 competitors, you will have a chance to vote. Now, competitor 27th, and it's Thomas Vs dash wind Chizmakovas from Bollywood Cafe. Very fun guy. And check out his outfit. And 28th, uh, Raminta uh, Orantaite from Krustum. And uh, she's excited about coffee for so many ways to brew it. So it's all the variety you can have from single bean. Thank you. Uh, now, 29th competitor, Karolina Katkovskite from Krustum, the first time competing. And number 30, Elgar Sabolins from Cafe in Latvia. And this means we are already over half of competitors. 
in the very end of the show, when you vote, you will see the repeat of all the uh, competitors. So you can cho choose your favorite when you vote for them. Let's see how Carolina and Elgars did. That was some flowers and that was a real bouquet of them. Uh, now it's time to talk about our eShop and uh, show event location partner, Cosmos Coffee Roasters, that are hosting us here today. And uh, they are share sharing uh, love for coffee through their eShop. Everybody for the whole Pictures Up event uh, duration can get 20% discount and free shipping to all Baltic countries, Latvia, Lithuania, Estonia. Uh, so you can get some nice beans and other coffee gear. You can see uh, the discount code below, which is pictures up uh, and the exclamation mark. So make sure you check them out. And uh, thank you again, Kofmos, for sharing the location with us. Now we jump to the next competitors. And it is Tada Sinkus from Huracan Cafe. Uh, and uh, he has prepared for two championships before, but uh, he never competed before uh, Pitchers Up. So congratulations, Tadas, for actually making it right now. And 30-second competitor, Monica Vilutita from Brew Specialty Coffee. It's her second competition. She did really well in the first one in Have Fun Online. And let's see if she could improve more. Really beautiful drawings from Tadas and Monica. And now competitor number 33, Viljama Zinavicius from Cafe in Lithuania. Uh, and if you remember Vilus, our second competitor, their colleagues, and while Vilus is roasting, especially during summer, uh, his coffee place becomes a little sauna. And uh, he says it adds extra spice to his work. And uh, 34th competitor, Agnia Kripaitite from Krustum. And her main goal is to make tasty and beautiful coffee for every customer. Simple as that. Don't know about you, I truly enjoy the music uh, that is in the background of these pictures. Uh, it makes me move while you don't see me. Uh, thank you, Agne and Williamas, for competing. And now, 35th competitor, Ivaras Machus, representing the coffee bar at Harrods, London. Uh, he's Lithuanian, living in London and serving coffee there. Uh, and uh, he has competed in quite a few uh, throwdowns already, and I think we can see that. And number 36, uh, Grete Pereklite from Cafe in Lithuania. Her favorite latte artist won. Uh, and coffee excites her because of the flavors. Uh, enjoy your competition. <laughs> Thank you. 
Well, these two guys did really well, very defined and clear pictures of flowers. And uh, well, it excites me that we have so many variations of light art for today. Some of you were really sharp and saw these uh, Omniva cans of socks and they should smell very nice inside. And I believe it's true. It says on the packaging that should be true. And the two lucky winners are Gabi Sheshkuta and Greta Matsiyoskaita. So thank you for your sharp eyes and uh, I hope you will enjoy those socks. <laughs> uh, moving on. I would like to invite uh, Dagna Vaskopa to have a quick chat. Hello, Dagna. Hello. So we already saw 36 competitors, way more than half. Uh, was there anything really exciting or unexpected what you'd never seen in the cup? I was actually just uh, really happy to see that the baristas uh, were mixing the <clears throat> technical skills and uh, doing it uh, like a mix match with different uh, techniques. And that was really, really awesome. And I, I want to encourage to try uh, these uh, different techniques in one cup uh, for every barista who is working in the flow uh, in a daily. It's very amazing. Good, Agna, thank you. We also had one uh, competition, let's call it a challenge maybe, that's a better name. Uh, we will see how it looked like in the screen very soon. And Dagna also took part in it. Uh, and it was called blindf Blindfolded Latter Challenge. Uh, Dagna, can you explain what it is? Yeah, basically you just cover your eyes and uh, blindly draw the latter. You Before you set, uh, uh, prepare the espresso and uh, steam the milk, of course and uh, then cover your eyes and uh, pour the best you can do in your cup and uh, hopefully not to spill the milk all over the uh, place. <laughs> Have you tried it before this week? <laughs> uh, sorry, what? Have you tried it before? Not this week, because I saw your Instagram video in stories. Yeah. Uh, have you That's tried it before or was it first try? That was my second time and uh, I filmed it uh, for this just once, <laughs> so it was my only chance. But uh, before I tried it, uh, once, uh, yeah, once I tried it and it goes also quite well. I was surprised about myself, but it's really <laughs> fun to do and it feels uh, totally, I don't know, honest, honest. It's like You can't tell it is because you, it feels like you pour nowhere. <laughs> yeah, it, it's like walking in the dark. Yeah. It, it, you cannot feel where, where your uh, picture is and where is your cup and how much have you filled it. But uh, yeah. we saw so many baristas doing so great and joining from all over the world, not only from Baltics. And thank you. Dagna, we have to call out a winner for the challenge and I think you know the name. Yes, I know. And I'm very happy that I don't need to <laughs> to say my name, <laughs> that would be very awkward. So I'm not the winner. <laughs> and uh, the blind challenge winner is Christina Corral. So congratulations. Christina Corral. Congratulations. We will reach out to Christina. Dagna, thank you. Uh, thank you for judging and enjoy the rest. Uh, 18 or something only left competitors. Thank you. So we just uh, heard who won the first week's challenge, uh, Blindfolded Latte Art Challenge. Today we will announce a new challenge. We invite everybody to participate and spread this virus around in Instagram stories. Uh, and we will uh, make sure we repost it in SCA Lithuania Instagram account. And we'll check for the news there. It's end of the second little break and we move on to 37th competitor now. Helena Lee Un from kiosk number one and number two speciality coffee shop. Uh, she did compete in Tallinn Coffee Festival last year. Well, she didn't win there, but she's trying her best today. And 38th competitor, Christiana Eltermania from Cafe in Latvia. Uh, she has won two out of four contests that she took part in. Uh, strong uh, chance for her to win maybe today and make it 60-40 winning and losing ratio.
our event sponsors, Paulig is a sustainable coffee business and they found a lot of ways how to reuse coffee grounds. Uh, dear audience, please comment uh, in Facebook under the live stream and share your knowledge how uh, ground coffee can be reused in a sustainable way and to make something out of it. Uh, two lucky winners and those who know the best answers will get Paulik prizes. So be sure to be active and you can also ask any kind of questions and we will try our best to answer them. Uh, who just joined uh, after 53 competitors, you will have a chance to vote for your favorite barista. Jumping next, we're jumping into final uh, 13 competitors only left, and it's Kaur Kalmu from Mission Coffee Works. He was a uh, second in Estonian Aira Press Championship in 2018. Sorry, Kaur, I was a judge and I didn't pick you. Uh, what can you do? And the 42nd uh, as the competitor, Mia Kiho from uh, Cafe in Estonia. And she just enjoys the coffee community with endless uh, possibilities to share her knowledge. We're jumping back to competitor 39, Mikhail Zharkov from Cafe in Estonia. He also uh, took uh, part in an official light art competition in Tallinn Coffee Festival. And number 40, Ruta Gredzana from Innocent Cafe. Her goal is to become a master of uh, light art, and I believe competition is the best way to do it. Thank you. Uh, now, 43rd competitor, Gabriele Gindia Kijita from Labotega Milanese in Leeds in the uh, United Kingdom. She told us a little story. She competed in local Oatly Throwdown once in 2018. She did her first Phoenix there. And then she was a judge at Lamarzoko KB90 launch event uh, in Leeds in 2019. So she's definitely experienced. And uh, 44th competitor, Davile Martinkute from Cafe in Lithuania. And uh, she took part in Half Fun Online last time. And uh, I wish her good luck uh, in Pictures Up. <laughs> So we just had Gabriele and Davile, and we're jumping to Kerdo, Maggie, and Alexandra Popsova, numbers 45 and 46. Kerdo representing Mission Coffee Works. Uh, he did uh, compete in Tallinn Coffee Festival cupping competition and took second place, one step from being a champion. And Alexandra Popsova with many different uh, competitions and official competition titles, but uh, she got silver in Half Fun Online, so she's really keen to get the uh, main title, champion title this time.
Just look at that, how complicated and creative it gets once we get to the very end of the competition. Uh, 47th competitor, Yulia Kravtsova, she won Cafe in Latter competition in 2020. Uh, and Victoria Kochetkovaita from Vero Cafe with number 48. And uh, this is first uh, competition for her to enjoy and try her best to win. <laughs> That's Yulia and Victoria right before me jumping in here with uh, uh, comments. Uh, how can uh, coffee grounds be reused? And we have some great ideas. Uh, first winner who gave us great answer is Ruta Kan Kowalskita. She says that uh, Latvian Botanic Garden, uh, uh, Latvia's Botanic Garden is using uh, coffee grounds uh, to make bioplastic and also to pour on the ground instead of salts, which is a sustainable way to do it. And uh, Elvis Butrim said that it can be used for repealing insects and also as a body scrub. So there are so many ways how coffee can be used and reused so we can enjoy it further. Uh, thank you for joining with this commenting for Paulik Prizes. We will reach out. And now we're jumping to 49th competitor. Thomas Mechkovsky from Kofmos Coffee Roasters, Lithuanian Cup Tasters Champion, third place in Latte Art in 2019. Well, he definitely knows how to compete. And uh, number 50, twice uh, vice Lithuanian Latte Art Champion, Zygimantas uh, G. Kimovas, who is supporting backstage and uh, had the chance to pour Latte Arts there. Uh, good luck to the guys, really titled and really experienced. Sometimes it's even hard to imagine how they twist the cup so many times to get this pattern that they do. And these two guys are really skilled at it. 51st competitor, maybe even more skilled, they are uh, Lithuanian Latte Art Champion, Yavasho Peter, representing Taste Map. And 52nd competitor from Estonia, Georg Lepik, representing Kiosk number one and number two from uh, specialty coffee shop. So it's two places, very beautiful and nice places to have a grub, gap, to have a cup of coffee there. And I used to visit Georg and he's a role model for hospitality person as a barista. So I hope everybody can visit him uh, very soon. <music>
Dear viewers, it's up to you to decide how complicated you like your cup to look like or do you just like a simple uh, heart inside. But you just saw two very different uh, techniques how to tackle this competition. And I am glad uh, and happy to say that we have the, our final competitor right now, number 53, have fun online champion trying to defend his title now in a bigger scale, in Baltic scale, and it's Edgar Silbudnins from Paper Mill Coffee. Uh, he has way too many throwdowns to list, and that's probably his uh, key to success. <laughs> We've just seen a beautiful rose blossom from Edgar and I am happy to tell that we're gonna start the vote for your favorite barista right now. Below me you see where to go, it's live.voxvote.com, enter the pin 21076 and choose your favorite barista by his number and his, and his name. Uh, make sure you vote uh, for your favorite barista to have uh, the best competitors competing in semi-final. Today we will choose 15 competitors by your and judge's vote. We will put those votes together, 15 will go straight there. But we will have 16 competitors in semi-final, so you might ask, so where is the 16th coming from? And La Marzocco presents a comeback competition in, held in Facebook. Uh, and it will be held from Sunday afternoon, lunch, until Monday, 4 o'clock in the evening. We will pose the competitors who are not in the top 15. And you will have a chance to like and react to their pictures of letters. And the one with the most likes and comments will get to the second round of uh, pictures up competition and continue his fight for Pitchers Up champion title. Uh, while we have the vote happening, check down and uh, vote in the details that you see here. Uh, make sure you do it as soon as possible because only have few minutes left for it. To make sure you know who you're voting for, now we'll, we'll see the repeat of all the competitors.
And that's 50 free competitors we have today. You have last moment to go to live.voxvo.com, enter the pin 21076 and vote for your favorite barista or latte art style. We have like one minute. That's, I will do talking for one minute and then we will, then we will stop the vote. So uh, we've seen 53 different pictures and a few different strategies from competitors. Some of them went very creative and very technical or very difficult. And some chose to be classic, uh, use classic designs, but actually execute them in a very, very, very good manner. And uh, what's the best? What's the best for coffee or for community? Well, it's for the coffee lovers to decide. So that's why we have this vote. And you can choose your favorite uh, design and light art. So that will make uh, coffee approachable. It's not about being as good as or as creative as it needed or as much as possible, but uh, it's personal taste. And it's, uh, I, I always like to ask people when they ask me, what's the best coffee? And I tell them, best coffee is the one you enjoy the most. So uh, choose your letters wisely, vote them, vote uh, for five more seconds. And now we're stopping the vote in three, two, one, stop the vote. It means that we are basically over with pictures of qualification round. But uh, while we do the ranking and then we jump to conversation with our judges, uh, I would like to thank our partners. Uh, once again, La Marzocco Espresso Machines with King Coffee Service. Uh, and for those who don't know King Coffee Service, because we kind of introduced uh, La Marzocco Espresso Machines, we have a short video for you. That's King Coffee Service. They uh, take care of beautiful machines and uh, to make you serve great coffee. We also want to thank our logistics partner, Omniva Caffeine for freshly roasted coffee, eShop and location partner, Cosmos Coffee Roasters, and Tallinn Coffee Festival. Also, White Wings for a great view we have today. Uh, or not so great of me, but great of all our sponsors and all our prizes we had. Uh, now what we can see is uh, how you, our audience, voted and who do you think is the best. Don't forget, it's not the final ranking. It's a ranking of yours that we will add together with uh, judges' ranking. So from what we see, Vilus received 12% of the votes. Uh, then Justina Kanlina is doing quite well with Andris Romanovskis from Latvia. Sofia Baitala with 4% of votes. Um, and we have some smaller votes for people, but that's not bad, you know, because there's so many fans uh, deciding who wants to get to the next round more. Helena Lee and Christiana Elmene with 3%. And we have Yava Shopita with 8% of votes, almost 9 That puts her on a 
quite on the top and Georg Lepig is also doing well with 6%. Well, that's how you voted. We're gonna put it into our system so we can figure out who is winning. But before that, let's use a chance while we have some time to invite Dagna uh, to evaluate and tell her opinion uh maybe what strategy worked the best or what latte arts did you enjoy the most hi uh yeah actually for me it's uh, uh i always am surprised about the pretty decent make classical ones uh, like a uh, super super precise and with perfect contrast and uh, perfect symmetry make the like classic tulip for example it's uh, always will work and but of course i really enjoy uh, when uh, when barista is pouring some uh, difficult drawing and it uh, looks really um noticeable let's say so so you can understand what is in the cup it's not just a mess and uh, so it's uh, <laughs> <laughs> Great, Agna. And one last question before I thank you for judging. Uh, what's your uh, own favorite pattern to pour? Um, it's quite hard. Uh, okay. Do you I need options? The most, <laughs> the most uh, often I pour the swans. And uh, when I need to impress someone uh, a little bit more, then I pour it uh, in a mirror uh, position, oh, like okay. two spots in the mirror size. <laughs> that's my favorite. Um, that's a great pattern. And the good news is we're going to see a lot of birds next Saturday because the challenge for next week uh, for competitors in Pictures of will be birds. So if we had flowers today, we're going a bit more towards the sky next time. Great. Thank you, Dagna, for joining. Thank you for judging. And uh, good luck. Enjoy the rest of the show. And uh, let's hope we chose the correct winners today. I will and uh, wish luck to everyone. And uh, remember, as uh, Vadim told, that uh, you all are the winners. No matter what uh, score you get or whatever. It's, uh, just enjoy. Thank you, Dagna. Uh, I would like to invite Eva Milunaita, uh, uh, one of our three judges, to join in this uh, conversation while we still do the ranking. Uh, so Eva, as a champion, we've seen 53 competitors from three Baltic states. Uh, they all tried their best. And do you think the first timers, they had some chance to win today? Uh... I don't know which ones were the first timers, <laughs> so I can't answer that. Uh, but what I wanted to say, uh, if you compete in uh, no matter which competition, it, if it has rules, you have to read read it really good <laughs> because we have some um, uh, some uh, uh, competitors who did a really great job analyzing the rules. And uh, I suggest to do it for everyone. So well, that's one of the <laughs> key tips for any competition, you know, to understand yes. the rules and to understand how the judges will evaluate it. On the other hand, uh, audience has 50% vote. So it's, if you make it appealing for the audience, well, most likely it's going to be pretty good for uh, judges as well. Or there's a big difference, Yawa. What do you think? Uh, I think it is a big difference uh, if you are like a um, simple customer or coffee, coffee lover you just uh, you will be surprised by uh, uh, simple heart <laughs> especially woman <laughs> I, I think baristas know what I mean and um, if you do some uh, great job with uh, techniques uh, really difficult design uh, like simple customer doesn't even like react. It's like, okay, uh, I just pour some sugar in it. <laughs> so, yes, it is. If you're not professional, just like you drink platters uh, and uh, every day just, and you do not make coffee, it is a difference. 
and uh, probably lateral throwdown is a great chance for these two styles to meet and kind of compete uh, against each other. So we have uh, two different opinions, very professional and technical, and then we have this general coffee lovers idea. And uh, Yava, do you think uh, there should be more online throwdowns or uh, that's enough what we've done already? <laughs> No, <laughs> it's never enough. <laughs> I think that all the community and people that are watching and competing, they're like um, back on time when we had championships and hockey events. So it's just like really a good time to do online challenges. Uh, as I said before, it's really sad and lonely times we have today. So it's just an event uh, to cheer up and meet all people and have fun. Absolutely. Thank you for great words, Yeva. Thank you for your work. Uh, and have a beautiful Saturday. And uh, see you. Well, we will expect you to watch next Saturday show and to vote for your favorite barista as an audience member. I will. <laughs> of course, I will. Thank you. Great. Let's jump to conversation with Vadim now. Hello. Hello, Vadim. How Whoa. do you feel? 53. Well, that that was an experience because uh, I'm am I'm amazed. I mean, <clears throat> I mean, uh, I did not pay attention. Like as you were commenting that this guy is a winner. This guy was a newcomer. But uh, as I mentioned before, like all all people who we saw today uh, are the winners. I mean, first they overcome themselves. It, it's a big win. I mean, that, uh, a lot of people never do that. So I'm really happy to see them and I'm really happy to enjoy that uh, they did. And uh, as today you mentioned that regarding the coffee, <clears throat> like second life for for the coffee grinds and that was a botanical garden and uh, as today the the topic was or subject was uh, the flowers so i was kind of uh say filled like really weak in the matter of uh what kind of flowers we saw today so <laughs> <laughs> there was only uh there was a big big uh the palette of the varieties of the flowers so that that really amused me because uh uh, honestly, I was uh, kind of like scared a bit to see only tulips or maybe some roses. But today we had like pretty much like 53 different type of the patterns and th that's good. I mean, some of them were great, some of them were good. And uh, it, it's really cool. It's really cool to see uh, that the mm, imagination is working, the skills are growing and uh, i really appreciate that people use every chance to show the skills because uh being as a barista years ago you know that some guy will take only cappuccino with a rosetta but one lady wants only the heart and you don't need to mesh that you know so it, it's it's there were like a little a lot of funny stories behind the latte art and uh it's really good to have the selection of the patterns you can provide with a customer. Because from my experience, I remember that having the nice pattern, maybe simple, maybe not so complicated and technically, but I would say that like 75% because of the good pattern of the cup, they refuse the sugar. So that means they start enjoying the coffee as a coffee not as a kind of uh, mix of everything. So it's it's really nice to have it. And I'm really glad that a lot of people ha we had today. And uh, I want to say thank you to them, to all of them. And uh, I really hope that we don't see those patterns only on the pictures. So I really expect to see the same or different types of the patterns anytime we come to those places you mentioned today. And... Uh, Thanks for competing. Thank you, Vadim. Uh, enjoy the rest of the day. Let's see. Very soon we will see who won from both rankings. But now, uh, Vadim, enjoy your day. Thank you.
And we will jump to judges score uh, board. We saw a bit of what happened with your vote audience. And we will see judges scoreboard now. And I'm looking to the screen that I have here. So uh, in the in the bottom section, we have a lot of uh, good scores uh, of over 36. Just to name you, uh, if we take the scale from one to six, it's acceptable, average, very good, excellent. I missed something and extraordinary. So that's what the scores like one to six means. And we're moving to top 30 already. You can see your, your names or your favorite names there. Uh, and in the top 20, we have the Villa Mart no, uh, not top 20, top 21. And there's like, oh, look at this competition. There's five with equal points. So judges could not decide who is better from them. So it means you will decide, audience. And in top 15, we have uh, Mikhail Zharkov, Thomas, Sharune, Mia, Sofia, Zygimantas, Edgar, uh, Helena, Oshra, Trinolis, Virginia, Zivile, Ivoras. And top two from Taste Map, Yavasho Pite and Alexandra Popsova. It's an amazing work that our judges did. Uh, baristas did great work trying their best in competing. And uh, before we see the final ranking, uh, let me remind you to follow SCA Lithuania on Facebook and Instagram to get the latest news about the next week's competition. Also, we have the 16th semi-finalist uh, comeback competition starting from tomorrow until Monday. So make sure you're active so you bring back your favorite barista to a semi-final for him to pour some kind of bird in a cup. Uh, we also will have uh, great and interesting competitions to win prizes and share the information about how the baristas are preparing and drawing uh, for this event. So I strongly recommend uh, follow us uh, and support your favorite baristas. Uh, we still need some time. Uh, and uh, one more thing that we will introduce you to uh, is the challenge. I think we will announce it today in uh, Instagram account, SCA Lithuania. We had those uh, crazy baristas putting and covering their eyes with something uh, that uh, makes them uh, not see the pattern that they're pouring. And they are still doing great work. And you can see it in Instagram history hi uh, highlights. Uh, it's going to be real fun. And the next uh, challenge, if I'm not mistaken, it's going to be a pour with a sideways of pitcher. So you don't use the tip of it, but you use the side of it. Uh, and now uh, we still need some time putting together the points, takes, and we want to make sure they're all correct before we announce it. Uh, let's check La Marzocco video one more time because I loved it. I never look at myself in the mirror. Even if many people find me beautiful, I'm not really interested in how I look to others. By this time, I've realized that what really matters is what's all around me. And I'm not talking about places, even though there are many that are dear to me and that perhaps have even left their mark inside of me. No. At the end of the day, places and countries don't mean all that much to me. I'm most interested in people, the thousands of faces I see every day. It's in their eyes that I see myself reflected at every moment all over the world. And I have to say that what I see, I like more and more. All sorts of people, all sharing a great passion. An entire culture made up of a bit of science and a lot of good judgment. 
And then there are the people who are by my side, those with whom I've shared for better and for worse, as they say at weddings. Their faces, their solid ideas, and their intelligent hands are always with me. And the more time passes, the more vividly memories become reality and walk by my side every day. So it is the faces of those who made me what I am who are here tonight. And together we look ahead to the things, all good I'm sure, which the future has in store for us. So don't call me a product. You could say I'm the product behind thousands, maybe millions, of handshakes and smiles, and perhaps even a few arguments too. But I am not a product. I am La Marzocco. They're doing a very precise uh, work, you know, to finish up those cores and they're basically ready. We're double checking them and we're going to have them in one minute. So first of all, once again, thank you for our competitors. 53 of them uh, they are brave enough to sign up and do their best and show their uh, skills to all of us in all the Internet. Uh, our three judges, Yeva, Dagna, and Vadim, for doing a great, great job to evaluate 53 uh, patterns. That is a lot, I have to tell you. It's not a simple work. It's really complicated. They took it very responsibly and did the best they could. Uh, our sponsors who are supporting us with help and powering uh, our event to happen and take place today and share the community vibes with all of us. And of course, lots of coffee, uh, lots of great uh, machinery, lots of good things. And the final uh, champion of Pitchers Up, uh, who wins final after two weeks on 20th of March, will get a special prize from King Coffee Service, Varia Multi Brewer. And now, I see the raised hands and we have the final score and ranking. We're going to see them from bottom to top and the 15, you will see the line, are getting straight to the semi-final. We see people who will need your votes in comeback competition starting tomorrow. Uh, there's plenty of them. Unfortunately, we cannot squeeze much more into semi-final. Uh, and we see, and we're getting to the 23rd place and 22nd now with Mia and Mikhail, 21st, 22nd. Agnek Melowskaita, 20th. We have 17th to 19th place. And Thomas Mechkovsky, the 16th, the first over the line with the most difficult place to be. He is just a tiny bit from getting to the state, to, to the semi final. And we have our semi finalists. Kaur, Justina, Andris Romanovsky, Georg, Sharuna, Virginia, Edgar, our Have Fun Online champion, uh, Helena Lee Und, Sofia Baitala, Jivila Vaitakunite, Oshra, Jigimantas, Alexandra Popsova, Trino Lis, and Eva Shopita, Lithuanian Latter champion, standing strong in first place with being first judged by the judges and second by you, our audience. That's it for today. Uh, we will share the results very soon in our Facebook and Instagram accounts. Make sure you follow us and have a lot of more interesting interactions with coffee community during the coming two weeks through the Pitchers Up uh, period. Thank you, goodbye, and have a great cup.